Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Brown's Ride and Custom. Happy Sunday. I believe it's 19 or 18 days, a little, something like that. Um, we got to be there on the 31st, so whatever that is. Um, and we're going to make it. I think we're, we're on a good trajectory here to do this. So let me show you what we got. We've uh, been an interesting day. A lot got done, but it was a lot of figuring picking up parts and some things got installed. Uh, some really neat things got made and put in, which is pretty cool. Ron made those brackets for the master cylinder, or not master cylinder, the uh, reservoir, brake reservoir. Um, got those in, which looks really good. I'll show you that here in a second. But um, been a lot about wiring. Uh, today I've spent most of the day on wiring in the rear, um, which I understand completely there's not a whole lot of wires in the rear. Um, but you have to understand I'm dealing with spray painted, like two and three coats of spray painted wires that I can't see the colors. I gotta, I gotta sit here and mess with it. And I've got wires that are, some of them that are cut and ripped and torn and the connectors are all crap and so on. So. Basically what I'm doing is I've figured out where everything goes for the most part on the tail lights and the deck lid light. Um, and what I'm doing now is tomorrow I'll start going through cutting all the old connectors off, putting on new connectors with heat, heat shrink tubing and uh, heat shrinking them and getting all of that hooked up so that they're, we have good connections, we have good wires tape everything up, put everything in wire looms, do it correctly, um, and go down that road. So, and that's a slow boat. Uh, you know, it'll probably take me half a day just to do that um, because there's a lot to it and you're, you know, check, double check, you know, the measure twice, you know, cut once kind of thing. But um, that's what we'll be doing there tomorrow. So let me show you what we got today and we'll kind of roll on down the road here. Hold on. Okay. First things first. Don't these look good? God, I'm so just, oh my gosh. I'm so happy with it. I did go ahead and put these in. Uh, these are the bottom part of the latches for the hardtop on both sides. So now the only thing missing here is my uh, rear view uh, mirror, which is on its way. So that's exciting. Um, glove, box door, glove box doors and radio door are ready to go on. I still have to do all the work, weld, grind, paint, that dash panel. So, uh, we do not have a speedometer yet, so that's why it's not in there. Um, so yeah. So I did start installing some things down here. This strap here that goes under here, um, we actually had to repair down here. So the hole's not there, so I gotta drill a hole there. That's the only reason that's not in yet. But that one was, so I went ahead and put it on. Um, so we got that. I removed the battery box that I had here. Um, that's not going to work. So I'm going to go with kind of a factory option and get a battery here soon because we're going to need it. And get that in here. What else? We removed the cocoa mats because we didn't want to hurt them. Um, let's see. What did we do up here that I can show you? So Ron's master cylinder, or not master cylinder, brake reservoir, the fluid reservoir. So this is a cap for it. Brake fluid goes in there. There was, on the reservoir itself, there's two plastic tabs with holes for screws. I'm assuming there was a bracket at one point. It wasn't there when I got the car. So we went ahead and made our own brackets, which is what you see here. These are the, the bolts for it. Um, all stainless steel hardware. Let me, uh, show you what this looks like because it's pretty cool so there it is up in its glory ron made those brackets painted them the uh, flame red got all that um, 
So tomorrow we're going to go ahead and hook up the brake hoses, put brake fluid in it, get all of that going, uh, open up the bleeders and let it start gravity bleeding while we're still waiting on the rod, but we can get some of that going. Um, so that's happening. Really just a lot, guys, a lot of wiring stuff. I mean, you see, I mean, we've got stuff for days here. There's your heat shrink tubing. We've got butt connectors. We've got tape. I believe tape, electrical tape is 10 bucks for the rabbit. Oh shit. Use it sparingly. More connectors. Way more in there. So you guys gotta get the drift. Um, now, here's where I spent most of my day. What I have done, um, and there's another video coming out. I'm doing a video on, on the wiring. Uh, it's kind of starting out with tail light wiring, right? So, let me go over here and show you what we're up against. So what I've done is I removed the housings. I installed the actual uh, bracket with the bulbs. I hooked up the new, um, you guys can see it probably better over here. I hooked up the new, um, wiring the pigtails the wiring harnesses for the tail lights they're all good so we're good to there um, now where this gets tricky is you guys can probably see this this is what I'm dealing with it's just a rat's nest of wires and now mind you these wires here this is after wiping them down with uh, lacquer thinner and everything else you can see like right here I've got a, a broken wire the black and green it's broke there it's broke there um, just not great um, I did use the factory connector I'm going to take this connector out tomorrow and I'm going to just put my own ends on and so on this was pretty corroded I kind of just stuck it together but uh, you know I'm not gonna do crap work and let this car catch on fire so uh, like this. This is my Declid light wiring harness, right? It kind of runs up and around. Oh, I'm stuck up to here, right? So you got the brown is the ground. And this other one, I think it's a gray or something to that effect, um, is the uh, power wire. Goes down through. Power wire comes into here. This is not a yellow wire. This is just painted yellow, which is just my life. And then you have this thing sticking out of the bottom of it, which I have no idea what the hell. So I'm going to cut this all out, this whole section, and just repair all of that and make it look like it's actually supposed to be. And that's kind of the idea here, right? It's, uh, you know, make this to where it's right. It's, uh, you know, we've got huge sections of wire like this. Um that was actually looped over like so and taped off why i have no idea but i got to figure out what all this shit is so i'm using my diagram here from the thing shop and going through and so far uh my the colors from the pigtails and the colors from the factory harness on the tail lights and the deck lid wiring is matching up so that's that's good so that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, the other thing I did, if I can get you in here, uh, over here is where your grounds are, okay? I went ahead, I took a Dremel, um, a little bit on it, and uh, took these down to bare metal. Uh, they were bedlined, I forgot to tape them off. So I now have good grounds. These are where my grounds hook in. This is the deck lid light, this is the tail lights. Um, same thing over here. So you got one on each side. Um, you guys know if you don't have good ground, bad things happen. So that's what I'm dealing with here. I, like I have this harness, I have this ship that I, you know, I don't know. It's, there's stuff everywhere. So basically what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna do all of these wires, the five wires, actually it's four, four wires for the, um, tail light on the driver's side so the driver's side is done then I'm gonna move over here to the passenger side I'm gonna do these the five wires on this side for the tail light 
actually four. The ground's already hooked up, that's the fifth wire. And I'm gonna clean up the deck lid wiring here and get that done. And then I'm gonna move to the engine, okay? And my whole goal is tomorrow by the time, you know, the end of the day, I've repaired all the wiring back here in the back and we've, the engine's hooked up, ready to go. Um, and we are wired, you know, all the way up to the steering column and the dash. So, because if you really look at this, let me show you. I've got the starter wires all hooked up, okay? Uh, the only thing not hooked up back here is the reverse light. Um, I got a new sensor, I just need to figure out where the wire is, um, and I can get that hooked up. So if we get the tail lights, the deck lid light, and the engine wired up in the reverse light, we are done all the way to here with wiring. Okay? And then you got that crazy ass rat's nest over there, um, and a bunch of stuff up in here. I don't think that's going to be so bad, honestly. Um, I have found connectors. I've been checking the colors and whatnot. Let me show you. Um, I've been checking all the connectors with our chart over there. Like here's my relay, right? And then this is what plugs into the column. All that plays. Uh, this stuff, I know where this all goes. This, I believe is that. I could be wrong, but I think it's that. Um, you know, so it's not the end of the world, but there is a lot. Like this is my wiper stuff. Uh, it plugs right into the column. Super simple. You know, all of this for the wiper motor came with uh, detailed directions on what wires go to what terminal and whatnot. So that should be super simple. Um, and then there's weird stuff. Like, let me show you this. Sorry if this is a lengthy video, guys. I'm just... I enjoy talking to you guys and explaining what we're doing. I think it's fun. So, this here, from what I understand, is to an inspection plug in the engine bay that is null and void and nobody uses and we don't have. So I can pretty much um, take these up and clean it up. I don't need those. So, you know, it's it seems like a lot, and it really is, but if I can get you know, from the steering wheel and the, from the dash back to here done tomorrow, my God. And then when you come up front, we didn't really mess with anything here. So all my turn signal and tail light, or headlight wiring, it's all here. And it's in good shape. Same here. I need to do something with the loom here, but the actual wires and everything are in good shape. And my turn signals and all of that. So I think that's my point. Um, so, it's just a matter of patience, which, you know, I'm not great at, but I'm getting there. Uh, and just going through this monster and figuring out what we have. Fuse block, headlights, turn signals, horn, uh, F, what is F? Brake lamp switches, those are already wired up. I already fixed that, that's done. J2, emergency flasher relay. J is the headlight dimmer relay. I have these new. I have a new fuse block. Um, what's a V? V for Vendetta, windshield wiper motor. That's easy enough. G, I believe, is fuel gauge sending unit. We have a new one of those, shouldn't be a big deal. So you see what I'm saying, it's not terrible. Um, if I can just get all of this knocked out tomorrow, man, we're in a good spot. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to stop boring you with all my talking. Um, no new parts today. The uh, The only thing uh, was just basically the O'Reilly's run, and we went and bought a bunch of stainless steel bolts and whatnot to uh, make all this work. Oh, we did do one other thing. The new uh, new hood release is on with the new stainless steel bolts and washers and uh, it works great latches good I just have to put my little rubber bumpers in here and there and then the hoods done so getting there progress hopefully Tuesday our, our rod comes for a brake master cylinder
and we can go ahead and get the brakes done and bled and all of that and uh, have that out of the way. So the steering system, the brake system are done um, and then we'll be looking at fuel, putting a gas tank in, which we have. Drop that thing in here, hook all that up, get some fuel in this thing, try to get it wired up and uh, fire this pig off. Um, something else to remember that's coming uh, Wednesday our 9 inch floating uh, screen single den radio uh, is coming so we'll be able to put this all together put the mat back in it and uh, clean all this up and then uh, get all that done and get the glove box door and all that finally installed and complete um, hopefully by the end of, end of the week so we're getting there guys I'm hoping, uh, I would love, I would absolutely love to see this thing completely wired in the next week and a half. Um, and I realize I've got like 17 or 18 days or something like that, but uh, if I can just keep going on the wiring um, and not catch the car on fire, that would be key. And uh, get this thing done, that'd be amazing. So anyway, that's what we got guys. I, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying. Please, uh, if you've made it this far, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, we really could use you. We're trying to get uh, to 1,000. Um, I think we're at 847-ish right now. So if any of you are watching that uh, like what you're seeing, we could really use your help. Please hit that subscribe button for us, and uh, I promise I'll make it worth your while. All right, guys, have a good night, and thanks for watching Brown Fry and Customs.